Hello, hello. Let's see if we can finish this up today. Seems like, um, <clears throat> seems like we got stable connections, so let's make it hot. Last time we left off, we were heading back to Lake Knot City. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. And we stopped in Mountain Knot. All weapons will remain locked until the... Uh, should be something in the garage already, right? fabricate one <sighs> yeah I think it's all it's all together we defeated uh, we defeated um, Higgs I'm gonna get this uh, yeah I have a Kusanagi type let's go That should be fast, right? Um, well, what are the chances I need stuff? Probably not. We're sticking to the roads. Uh, which way is faster? Probably this way. Riding on bikes. Had the turning. It's so bad. Look at how slow it turns. At least somebody's liking it. Deja vu. Ha! Fuck! <laughs> Turning on this bike. All right, fucking get off of the power mode. I'll just go normal speed. The uh, B button turning wasn't good enough. Although maybe if I was hugging the interior walls. Let's try that. Also, this is a straightaway, so... I bet you can get good at this. Why, why have I not found whatever this area is? Who, who lives here somewhere? Obviously somebody does, right? And here. Why would these areas have borders if they didn't, if you couldn't connect them to the chiral network? What? Buddy bot. I have a buddy bot back at Lake Dot? Somewhere. Fuck. Uh, excuse me? Oh, codex. Sam, you're not going to believe what I found. 
It's about the BP experiments, their true purpose. According to official records, they were continued in secret on the order of President Strand. Supposedly with the primary objective of developing BT detectors and preventing void outs. Any advancements that could be applied to the fields of chiral communications and beach research were meant to be of purely secondary benefit. But it turns out, that's just a cover story. The truth is, Sam, BBs were originally conceived as catalysts for the operation of the chiral network. They're integrated into the infrastructure of not cities for that very reason. Every single one you've brought into the fold. It was probably Amelie herself who installed them as she moved west with the first expedition. So BBs are the center of the... Land, making sacrifice after sacrifice on the altar of progress. President Strand told the people what they wanted to hear and did what she thought had to be done. Also, America could be whole again. And I'm starting to wonder if it didn't cost her her soul. The chiral network is our greatest creation, our proudest achievement, and our guiltiest sin. I don't know how to feel about it all. Maybe if we knew more about Cliff and the BB experiments, we'd be better placed to judge. I'll be in touch. So the... Well, we're not we're not doing Uber Eats this time. We're doing we're doing watching movies this time. But what am I looking at here? I don't know what I'm looking at, yoga. Um, but, uh... <clears throat> yeah, if you don't want to get spoiled, this is not the stream to tune into. It's, all, it's gonna be all story. Uh, so I assume that the BBs are, like, people's babies at some point or another. So that's why it's so bad they were used or something. Alright, let's see if I can execute a perfect drift on this first curve here. Oh man, this could be uh this could be a problem, actually. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Too scared. And yeah, this is not the kind of curve you wanna test out. <laughs> Going too fast around. Just straight off the cliff. I'd love to have like the whole chiral network built out. All right, let's try it. Inner curve and oh, we're doing it. Oh fuck, we fucked up. All right. Wasn't that bad. I that was almost good. It was almost good. I bet I bet we can get good at this. Alright, here we go. No. Oh that was pretty nice. Oh fuck! Oh, okay. Well, was nice until we biffed it. All right. Man, I would love to buy one of these tight fucking motorcycles that, uh, Keanu Reeves makes. But fuck, they're so expensive. Also, probably not a good idea to start with an expensive motorcycle. Probably want to start with a piece, a cheap piece of shit motorcycle. So that you can uh, fall over a bunch. 
How's the battery running at? I'm on a fucking road. I believe there was some sort of a uh, motorcycle deal. Maybe Norman Reedus also has a motorcycle company. Or maybe just a show or something. That AMC ride show. We're getting sort of better at controlling the motorcycle. <laughs> That's not real, is it? That looks like an onion title. Radiohead crowd led left red faced after applauding three minute guitar tuning and mistaking it for a new song. <laughs> Fuck, Lily's barking. Lily! That seems like a hit. That seems like a radio, uh, uh, onion headline. Although it seems to be posted at uh, BBC. It's probably just a joke thing. We're about to find out what it all means. It took us, I don't know, 40, 50 hours at this point, maybe longer. Hey Sam, I see you're coming up on late night. Stay strong. We're all rooting for you to finish the job and come home safe. By the way, I've made more progress in a certain investigation. It seems that Clifford Unger willingly put his own child in the care of the scientists conducting the BB experiments. But he did so completely unaware of their true intentions. This is pure speculation, but I think when Cliff found out about their plans, he attempted to reclaim custody. And after he failed, the BB remained in the program's care. In which case, he would have every reason to bear a grudge towards the president, the woman who allowed it all to happen, don't you think? Sure. But just because President Strand is dead, doesn't mean his hate died with her. No, I think he redirected it towards Bridges. Towards you and Amelie and anyone close to the director. And now that hate is driving him to set in motion the last stranding. To bring an end to the world as we know it. Why else would Cliff hold Amelie hostage on the beach? I thought we averted the end. That she's an EE. -E. There's no time to lose. You have to save her. And the director. I guess I guess Though we just I put it on hold for a little bit. Still don't how he managed to travel to her beach in the first place. There must be more to their relationship. I'll see what I can find. Oh fuck! You know I I have noticed it's been pretty fucking bad weather this whole way. That's probably a sign of things to come. Might get sucked up into another one of those historical vortexes. But the mission was for me to get back unharmed or something. Oh, yep, there's the vortex. <laughs> so it looks like we got at least one more boss fight to go through. Let's make it happen. Got a moment, Sam? It's about the director. So there's no way he could have made the jump to Amelie's beach if they didn't share a strong personal connection, right? Was it well, her I baby? Looked, and I couldn't see one. The network should have contained something, anything, but there was nothing whatsoever. 
His entire life prior to his tenure with Bridges has been redacted. His name, his past, everything. There's no telling who he was. Which led me to consider another possibility. What if it isn't the director and Amelie who have a connection, but the director and Clifford Unger? And what if that connection is what facilitated the director's jump to Amelie's beach? Hmm. If it's those two who have a personal history, then it might explain why Cliff is holding the director hostage as well. But even if that were the case, it doesn't answer the bigger question. How the hell did the two of them end up on Amelie's beach? Sam, Hartman here. There's something else I'd like you to consider. A guess, albeit an educated one, concerning Cliff's objective. Somehow, with the aid of the Is it possible network, to pause this? our individual beaches have begun to coalesce, resulting in the formation of a single massive scene. Should this process continue, there is a risk that BTs will flood across into our world, bringing about a death stranding on a heretofore unprecedented scale. Heretofore. Now, Clifford Unger's battlefields and my own beach appear to be unaffected by this phenomenon, existing entirely in isolation. They do not and have never intersected with others. But what if there were another class of beach? One that exists on a higher plane that was responsible for setting this process in motion. Yeah, like the chiral and network. The beach in question were none other than armies. Cliff may have summoned the director, but I believe his true aim was to seize control of Armelie's beach. To exploit its power over every other beach. And trigger the last stranding. What a it's beach. It's the only rational explanation for Cliff's actions. <laughs> which is why you have to stop him. If Hartman's right, then we're in serious trouble. Using the chiral network in Amelie's beach to trigger the last stranding? That's why Higgs went after Amelie, wasn't it? If it was Cliff who put him up to it. Yeah, it all fits. With the last stranding. He'll finally have his revenge against the world that stole his life and his child. You've got to stop him, Sam. You've got to make the jump to Amelie's beach as soon as possible. Get in and get her back. It's our only hope. If you can't, then we're all doomed. But I'm already doomed. <laughs> I don't know. Let me just go grab some water real quick. And we'll get back. We'll get right back to it. I'm gonna pet my nose for a second. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, what is that? Eleven point nine percent? Jesus Christ. Uh, um I mean if it doesn't taste good you probably shouldn't drink it, I, mean, I would think. Alright, 
Ready for the final battle. Here we are. Crazy how they managed to transform uh, such a crazy idea into something so cool. Hand it over. Shoot him, John. Shoot him. Damn, Bridget. Shoot him. So the um, it seems that the uh, Die Hard Man. What's his name? Fuck. <laughs> Dead man <laughs> uh, is the one that shot Clifford Hungry at the president's order. Um, so before we move on, I guess I can address this Hogwarts uh, legacy thing. Um, basically, the uh, uh, J.K. Rowling is pretty... Uh, outspoken uh, trans-exclusionary radical feminist turf as, as they might call them and uh, obviously that, that has led to trans people being uh, pretty um, protesty boycotty of all of the stuff related to J.K. Rowling which includes you know Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beasts and stuff uh, but then, you know, most of the world doesn't give a fuck, so, uh, obviously, Harry Potter-related media is still wildly popular throughout the, the world, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't explicitly express, like, anti-trans type, uh, speech as part of the media, uh, but people, people have a, a problem with her personal beliefs being... Okay, die, it was Die Hard Man. Okay, cool. Um, uh, obviously, people have pretty, uh, uh, you know, they 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 have pretty uh, contentious feelings about the whole interaction there. Uh, it's a little bit, it's, it reminds me a lot of the, like, the Chick-fil-A, like, anti-gay thing, like, the, the president or founder of Chick-fil-A, uh, put a bunch of money into, like, uh, 
uh, into like gay transition camps or whatever, which are, are pretty horrible facilities uh, that um, I, I believe scientific study has shown that they don't really work. Um, but yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, because Chick-fil-A makes such good food, uh, they're so wildly popular, you know, and it really has nothing to do with the anti-gay, uh, whatever. Uh, although they are an avowedly Christian organization, so... I don't know. But, uh, I would say, you know, just go enjoy the things you want to enjoy, you know. Uh, for me, the Harry Potter stuff is too much for kids, I think, you know. Uh... Like, I, I really enjoyed the the books and the movies and stuff, but I'm not going to go out of my way to, like, play games and stuff, like, designed for children. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but that being said, uh, I don't know. I guess I, I guess I sympathize with the people that, you know, don't want a popular figure speaking out against their... Uh, against their feelings or whatever, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, I would say. Man. Oh, is he wearing the he's wearing the die hard men mask? Interesting. Why did they call him Die Hard Man? Was he just a big fan of the Die Hard movies? Maybe they'll explain that too. They explain Dead Man and Heart Man. Vietnam this time. Wonderful. Oh, that's how you do it. Spotlight mode. He's gotta be somewhere, right? left on the d-pad. Is his target blue? Why don't they show that, like, as a thing? So spotlight mode doesn't alert you to enemies? Whatever. Isn't there another blood bag, like, way up there? G Sam, I wonder where we are. Let's check out the map. Oh fuck, man, just take a bullet in the face. Oh. It's just a big straight thing. Okay, cool. Uh, what 
this is? Oh, it's a helicopter. Jesus, that helicopter is going hard. Let's go! Run, 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 run. Why would they give me an anti BT handgun here? Uh, okay. Whoops. Sorry. It's okay, buddy. I didn't mean to fall on my chest like that. This isn't even that scary. It's just Vietnam. Come on, give me a smile. Scoop's a happy baby. Lou is not a happy baby. Give me that gun. Am I supposed to be shooting these guys? Uh, well, it made him disappear. this up ahead of me. Blood bag. Take all those I can carry. Speaking of. There we are. Get all that shit off my back. Put the gun away. Really needed in spotlight mode anyway. Unnecessary. I, I just can't wait for the explanation where it's gonna be like Sam, do you remember in the 1980s a movie called Die Hard? <laughs> <laughs> was it the 80s? Or was it the 90s? I think it was the 80s. Kojima and his cigarettes. Him and Mads Mickelson and fucking Nolan Nor uh, no no Norman Reedus. Cigarette smoker. Why would you light yourself on fire like that? Seems seems like a bad choice. They were strong, and now they're taking fire damage. All I have is anti-BT handguns. Reload. 
here. Our tea to fill with blood. It's all my fault. How do I reload? Fuck. Oh, oh, there it goes. Alright. Look at this. Sneak in, please. Where are you, baby? I must never use the sneaking out in the real world. Can I one shot kill these guys with a headshot? I'm really trying to aim here. Okay. Apparently, apparently headshots don't do that much here. Damn it. My bola gun. Fuck. Fuck this. Had enough, Clifford. You old sick bitch. Yeah, I don't think the BT handguns are very good. <laughs> I don't know why, but... They give them to me, and every time I use it, it's shit. <laughs> so... Not too bad if he wants his BB. It's my fucking BB. We spent fucking 40 hours in the car together. Feels like I'm at least entitled to uh, visitation, right? Where's that assault rifle level three at? My dear. That assault rifle level three. Where was that? It's gone. Oh well. Get a shotgun. Ooh. Pretty pissed for, that's okay. It's like better to hit him in the chest. Good 
the food! Where are you? Hiding in the fucking trees, you coward. Um... Ooh, armor plate. Would like one of those. Look at all this weed. No, I'm just kidding. I believe. Right. Let us equip. Oh fuck, we're out of the blood bag again. Offload. Where's this bitch at? Oh, another armor plate up there. I need you. Is it in the house? My name is Clifford Unger. is Plate level ones when I have fucking I need you, baby. Blood bang. When I have level four unlocked, they could give me level four. Oh, oh fuck, man. Footsteps here. I guess we follow the red footsteps. My dear. Oh, there he is. Open fire! 
Oh, hide behind the crypto biodes. Alright, fuck this anti PT handgun bullshit. Where's my shotgun? Shoddy. My boy, wait, that's the assault rifle. There it is. Who wants a piece? Boom! You're done, son! BT handgun just seems kind of shit. I'm coming for you. Got the Agent Orange dropping in the background. I Maybe I wasn't so good at fighting Higgs, but I'm pretty we good at these parts. Go, 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 go. Where's my baby? Oh, they see me. See anything in these fucking trees? Store so much more from in your inventory. Oh, fuck. Come and get him, bitch. Oh, is that the end? Got him. Give me back my baby. Are you good or younger?
They told me your name was Sam Porter. When you were Sam Bridges. My bridge to the future. to the future. Come on, Sam. Stand up. Baby, do oh, let me keep it. Oh, that was the shot that killed him from the the one that Bridget commanded, I guess. Take BB and get out of this place. There's nothing I can do for your wife. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Now she orders me to do something. I have to do it. I have to. Oh shit. But I served under you first. Your family doesn't deserve this. He's the one that told him to run. Why are you helping me? Did they catch you? Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Fuck. Only an A? Come on, I kicked ass back there. It's because of the damage, because I didn't try to avoid damage. Ah, well. Again. Oh, they moved the big, uh, they moved the big action figure. System error. Sam, uh, are you okay? I reviewed your logs. It looks like you were caught in a supercell and emerged an instant later on the other side of Ground Zero. Not far from Port Nord City. How'd I wind up here then? Remember Victor? He found you lying unconscious by the harbor and brought you inside. I think Cliff might be Lou's father. He said, give me back my BB. Impossible. Cliff was born he gave me this. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Something about the BBs, maybe. About how they were made. Didn't feel like he was trying to hurt us. 
It felt like... like he just wanted to talk. But you said you saw him holding the director captive on the beach. Yeah. They must have some history we don't know about. That man, Bridget. Funny you should say that. I've got something you should see. Found it in the archives while I was digging around. It's a pre-recorded message from the director labeled, If I Don't Come Back. Archives. All right. This message is insurance. In case something happens to me. For Bridget's eyes only. And I sure as hell hope that's who's watching. I got a little present from Amelie. Said she'd take me to the beach if I wanted. But I'd need this doll to show me the way. It's a trap. It has to be. But I've decided to play along. You've all been playing along too, haven't you? You know this mask hides more than just my face. Was that supposed to be some big reveal? Emily's a blank slate, too. No past. No record she ever existed. She's a ghost. And the thing about ghosts... I never met Emily in person. Have you? Ever seen her in the flesh? Shook her hand? Touched her? The original team we sent was divided into two groups. Emily was with the first... Mama and Hartman were with the second. They had no direct contact with her. Yes. Amelie's group was wiped out in Edgenaut City. Everyone but her. Everyone who could say whether or not she exists. Bullshit. She's real. We've touched, all right? She and I both. Well, I've only ever interacted with her hologram. I'm telling you. I've met her. In person. Lots of times when I was little. Yes, but on the beach. Here's what the president had to say about her daughter. Emily was born on the beach. There her ka remained, though her ha came to this world. This division of body and soul forced her to spend most of her childhood in the hospital. But though her health was poor, her doom's numbers were off the charts. Her supernatural talents blossomed as she grew older and overcame her limitations. But by the time she was 20, she could travel to and from the beach, body and all. And that's where she started spending all of her time. Now, if you wanted to get in touch with Emily, it was by a hologram or nothing. The president insisted on that. I swore an oath to the president and to America. As far as I was concerned, her word was law. So when she said Amelie was her daughter and the best candidate to succeed her, I believed it. But when the archives were restored, I couldn't resist testing out my access privileges. And that's how I found out. Bridget was diagnosed with uterine cancer in her 20s and couldn't have children. You see, doesn't add up, does it? There's no way Emily could be Bridget's biological daughter. So where'd she come from? Who is she? Is she even real? How can we be sure that Emily is an extinction entity when we don't even know if Emily is Emily? Hell, for all I know, the EE -E theory might be bullshit. But if it's not, if she's the cause of the Death Stranding, then I have to accept her invitation. I've loaded my gun with hermetic rounds. Sam's blood. It connects my gun to her 
to me, to him, all of us. Which means I should be able to take it with me to the beach. I'm gonna stop what she started by stopping her. One last confession. I'm just a man. No powers, nothing special. Don't have dooms, I can't repatriate like Sam either. Don't know the first thing about dying, I had never tried it. Yeah. I've been to hell. Every single battlefield was hell. But no matter how terrible it got, I never died. Because all I ever did was run from death. That's why he's die hard man. <laughs> She's calling for me. So I'm a little bit concerned about Don't let me down. His uh, first instinct is we don't even know what the hell she is. We better fucking kill her. <laughs> we'll uh just gonna have to see how it After goes, he I guess. Recorded this, the director jumped to the beach. Or rather, Amelie summoned him there. He had a gun to Bridget when I saw him. Then Cliff showed up, took him away. I thought he went to the beach to confront Amelie. Yeah, she was there too. She was the one who got me out. Huh. It's so obvious to me now. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. It was Amelie who... What happened? The chiral network dropped out. According to Lachna, it won't be long before it's completely unusable. So all our hard work was for nothing. Let me finish what I was saying, Sam. I'll tell him. Fraja, you look like shit. You should be resting. I know. I need to tell you something. I had a little chat with Higgs back on the beach. Didn't take much to make him talk. He say why he betrayed you. He said it was part of her plan. What? She was their leader. The terrorist void outs, the whole extinction agenda. Amelie was behind it all. Like how she was? I know you don't want to believe it, but it lines up with what Die Hard Man said. He turned on me after he met Amelie. At first, he was looking to expand his territory, and I had a power he could use. At least, that's how he ended up working with me. He was no terrorist. He just wanted to reach more people. But then she shows up with abilities that put mine to shame. Hell, she could even control BTs. So Higgs decides to go with her. And that's when she turned him into her agent of extinction. Amelie gave Higgs his power? Yep. She made him her homo demons. Homo demons. <laughs> you can't tell me what she was doing on the beach. You got an answer for that too. I know it's a lot to swallow, but he said himself that Amelie is an extinction entity. I looked inside his pod, and there was no BB in there. Take a good look at what was. It's the same doll Die Hard Man had. This is their bridge baby. There's this idea that the terrorists brought back BB Tech and Bridges was just following suit. It's garbage. Their methods and yours are completely different. Your BB links you to the world of the dead. Their doll links them to Amelie and her beach. You know who else had dolls like this? Cliff. He was carrying them on the battlefields. Cliff, Higgs, the director, all three of them were drawn in and controlled by this extinction entity. And who is this EE -E really? Is it Bridget? Is it Amelie? All I can say is that the answer is I was is thinking it was Bridget. What she wants and why. If we get to the bottom of that, then maybe we can still avert the last stranding. You've got to find her, Sam. Whoever she really is. 
Maybe she's the BB. Hurry back east. Or maybe she's uh, Cliff's wife that was in the time chamber thing. I don't know. So many mysteries get to be solved. Sam, the connection's unstable, so I'll keep this short. We have a job for you. Fragile's condition is deteriorating. If she slips into a coma, there's a chance her soul might become stranded on the beach. She needs crypto biomes fast. Luckily for us, Fragile Express keeps a stockpile there in Port North City. So we'd like you to grab some for us while you're in the area. All the details are on the terminal upstairs. Please, Sam. This is critical. So we gotta go and deliver some... Some stuff. Why does it say connection lost? What's up, little guy? You asleep? Wake the fuck up! Tired, huh? Oh. One more poke! <laughs> Made you do a somersault. He's been out of it, man. Out of it for a while now. What? Chiral network is unstable. What do you what do you want me to look at? I can't use it, man. Let's see what we got. Um I think I did go to his uh, bunker, right? Thought I did. Now I'm Sam Strand. Hmm. Whatever. Oh, there's a memory chip that needs to be decoded. Nicholas Winding Refn. It's one of Kojima's favorite movies or something. In his lifelong journey to be uh Most hipster Japanese man alive. Cake. It'll be time for you to come out into the real world. I promise. And then we can have a real party. Well, happy birthday. You didn't eat all that cake by yourself? Fats Mickelson. <laughs> Sam, check the terminal for available orders. Yay. Yeah, recycle all this fucking shit. Oh, 
no recycling because of the chiral network. Oh, are you shitting me? Wait a minute. Wait, this is... Oh, we're back in the... original area. I think I only did the chiral network up to uh, the midway point. Here. Oh, but I probably can't use the chiral network, can I? Well, fuck. Do not submerge. Okie dokie. Should I take a motorcycle? Eh, why the heck not? Wait! Don't forget, that container isn't airtight. You can't afford to submerge it, even partially. You know, I'm carrying like. A hundred crypto wires. Let me. There we go. Thanks, Jam Skinner. Or fuck that means. All right, carry on back. Are they gonna make me carry around all this bullshit? You know what? I'm gonna put it all in my private locker. Um, yeah, sorry if there has been, like, too much background noise on all my streams. I used to have, like, a noise gate thing set up, but, uh, it's been a long time since I've had that set up. Alright, let's get all this shit out of here. Keep the armor plates. Oh, fuck yeah, they just gave me some fresh-ass chiral boots? Fuck yes. Why? That's awesome. Yes, fresh fucking chiral boots. Shit, you know what I just realized? If the zip lines are up, I'm gonna wanna take those. We've been getting near constant timefall in this region for a while now. As a result, everything you've built for us out here has been completely destroyed. Oh, <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. Wait. The good news is we managed to recover all cargo stored on site and transferred it to the capital Not City Distro Center. As for the not-so-good news, chiral printers are currently unusable due to the network instability. Given the circumstances, you might want to consider turning to your fellow porters for... ...for assistance. But I'll leave that up to you, Sam. Why doesn't sure this look familiar to us. me? You always do. This shit is not looking familiar to me. I don't rem I don't recall there being a Oh, I'm starting at the bottom. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, now it makes sense. All right. Well, good thing I decided to go for the long range strike then, huh? Well, I guess that explains why all my fucking zip lines are gone, huh? 
I built a lot of those fairly recently, so... This whole time fall destroyed everything. Bullshit is kind of annoying, but what are you gonna do? Come on, bruh. I don't care about dragons. Let's get the fuck out of here. to listen to that song for about half a fucking minute. I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Oh fuck, this shit is all fucked up too. Oh boy. Uh, maybe I can swiftly get through them without too much issue. Yee, I'm through! Fuck you! Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Okay, time to leave. Time to go now. Oh, this shit is way too rocky. Okay. <laughs> Let's just... We're... Just gonna squeeze on past everything here. Squeeze on past it all. Up, up, yep. There you go. There we go. Squeezing on through. A little bit of squeezing. Up. when they thought they had me. Uh, uh, uh. Ha <laughs> taught those floaty boys what for, huh? This hardly seems fair, huh? Uh, but I didn't even get grabbed by nothing. Okay, Sam, let's just let's go this way, shall we? I don't want to get touched by the big. Ugh. I don't want it. Hardly seems fair to me. Fuck off, bitch. It's like a squid creature. Oh boy. Eat a dick. At least one dick for me. I'm not sticking around to fight this bullshit. I already gave up all my fucking good weapons. Like a moran. We are leaving. I thought we were doing such a good job, too, on the motorcycle. Pretty unfortunate, I suppose. Does he even know where I'm at? Fuck this thing. We're running. Running through the goop. I'll take those. And those. And we're out of the goop. We're done. Fuck this thing. 
Goodbye. You sorry sack of shit. Are we cool or? We're cool. I did not bring container repair spray. Not good. Not bueno. Oh, but there is a facility up ahead here. I didn't even get to give that guy any legs for using his bike. I guess that's my bad. My mistake. Nice of him to give me a new pair of boots. Although they did take my old terrain skeleton away. Thanks for the bridge. Very helpful. Thanks for the vote of confidence, BB. Let's go repair our... Repair our container. Don't disregard the likes, man. People, people worked hard slamming their thumb into that like button. Oh fuck, I can't fabricate equipment? Oh, that's not good. Container repair spray? <laughs> Oh, yes. Fuck yes. Thanks, buddy. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take all of them. Thanks, past self, for dropping a bunch of container repairs for me. Very helpful. God, that sucks. Alright. Conserving my spray. Just listen to the sound of that latex being tightened. is it you think let's see it is almost fully repaired
Come on. I think it is actually. Look, I did that with about 32 repair spray to get 20%. I'm pretty sure I've used the whole can on this shit and only got it up 40%. I'm pretty sure it works. I don't know. Fucking maybe it doesn't work. I don't give a fuck. Let's do it. We're doing it the way we want to do it. Now, how the fuck do we get back here without running into any more BT bullshit? Wow. 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 Well, we're fucked. Uh, I'm gonna take another car. Cause fuck it. The first one worked out pretty good. Got us pretty far without... Uh, too much trouble. Um... I don't think there's any reason to get a truck. This time we'll, well, this time we'll put the likes on the front load, you know, make up for last time. Thank you for your bike, you weak man. Enjoy. so many bridges although I'm really I want to stay on the right side I just want to go like I want to take this route that I've previously done here let's see if we can Fuck. there's water here we'll go to this zip line it looks like this zip line can lead to that other zip line yes we'll do that Oh, you know, alternatively, I could have just went to this timefall shelter and got my shit repaired automatically for me, huh? Look at this. I'm just gonna let it repair all my shit. Okay, time to go. Accidentally, the whole thing there. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. We're just going. Just a little bit of go time. We're just leaving this area. Goodbye. Alright, that worked. Ah, stop. What the? Okay. <laughs> what in fresh fuck is happening to this motorcycle? Can you can you go back to normal? Jesus. <laughs> Not doing anything. The fucking game is doing. It. We're making it. Yeehaw. I feel like I'm driving the horse on 
Red Dead Redemption or something. Oh, you can make it, Samuel. Samias. Fuck. Okay, that's fine. We're good. It's all good. We made it. <laughs> You didn't think I could make it, did you? Fools. <laughs> Let's try to take it a little more casually on the way down, shall we? <laughs> and these waypoints were truly excellent. Oh, is this the incinerator? Is that what this is? Yeah, it is the incinerator. You thought we'd have to walk the whole way. Showed you, didn't I? Oh, god damn it. More of this shit. Oh, come on, bro. No, my bike. Oh, man. It's one of these fuckers. Uh, okay. That seems not fair, huh? I'm out of here. Fuck this. No, I don't want to fight the goddamn lions. I don't want to fight four of them at once. Fuck sakes. Are you fucking kidding me with this shit? This is disturbing. <laughs> I will refuse to fight. <laughs> I guess I am actually just walking. Okay. Very cool. Super awesome. Way to go. You really... You really showed me. Ugh. Out of the camera, lion creature. No, I don't wanna. No, can you get away? Please, thank you. <laughs> off, right off my dick. Yes. Uh, just. Uh, can I just scooch on around this way here? I just don't wanna. Not pretending like you're not real. Thank you for the container repair. Oh, I'm good. Oh, that was fucking spooky. Turns out all you have to do is run through them and repeat your mantra. This isn't real. This isn't real. <laughs> Just spooky ghosts. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright. Cool it, Sam. Getting a little too excited there, brother. Oh, man. Wait. Is there a zipline I can just take? Oh, fuck. Am I gonna have to climb this hill to take it? Fuck, it's too far to climb. Yeah, fuck this. I'm just gonna go to the low ground one. Uh, it's not just the one. See, this one can probably reach this one, which can reach this one. It's all high up in the air, though. It's gonna be easier to walk to the next one. I plotted my route. I'm not totally blind. Oh, fuck. Hmm, somebody left us a little bike to finish our route. 
Thanks for the help. Today's a good day. This one's for you. Thanks for the help. This one's 879. For you. Not too bad. I need this because this is the only way to get across the water without submerging. Although there are several jumps I could take. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Well, that's just because of when I spam the button, if I spam it past the time limit, it shows that message like you can't like this anymore. Stop being a dick. I'm assuming that that helped me pass at least one more fucking shit ass fight. Wait, what's happening? Man, <laughs> just when I thought I could pass one more shit ass fight. It brought the shit ass fight to me. It's a fucking flying whale. made out of dead bodies, I think. That's what I'm seeing. Boy, I sure hope they're willing to provide me with some, uh... Guns and ammo <laughs> would be pretty cool. <laughs> okay, can, can I... Let's, let's just relax, little buddy. gonna be okay. Alright, good enough. Just pretend that nothing's bad's happening and get moving. Are they gonna give me some weapons to uh, fight this monster with or am I just uh, gonna have to take care of it with my three grenades that I have? Oh! There's some weapons. Gimme. Gimme. And gimme. Alright. They wanted me to fight, and so I shall. Where is it though? Way over there. Um, can I just... Okay, that seems not cool. Please don't come down on top of me. Oh, okay. It's got a laser beam. Alright. Where you at, big boy? You done! see him, but he's like on the other side of this building. Okay, let's just... No, oh, damn it, stop picking up the thing that I just dropped. Riot shotgun, okay, that seems cool. Okay. Who am I to snuff? 
a quad rocket. What happened to the assault rifle that I was using, though? Where you at, big boy? Big boy! Where are you? Where's my big boy? Miss that rocket. It seems okay. Yeah, we're cool. Oh fuck, my building's gone. That's uh, not good. Yeah. Um. Grab this assault right back. Seems like being in the the junk is worse. Where's the weak spot on this fucking guy? Oh fuck! No! <laughs> oh my shit! Oh my shit! Okay. grenades and a blood bag and a multi-rocket launcher wait what's a multi-rocket launcher oh fuck thanks for the stuff brother okay where is big boy oh there he is Try this multi rocket launcher. Where is that? Multi rocket launcher. Oh, -ho, that's awesome. Okay. Ew, okay. It's a lock on. Oh, this is so cool. Fuck. Never seen quite a device. Come on out. I want to regale you with the tails of my rockets. Yeah! Oh, that's so cool. I am really enjoying this weapon here. Okay, alright. We're getting rid of that one. Very cool, though. 
Okay, next we'll hit him with the... Let's finish off our quad rockets here. I love this big building. Where you at, big baby? I know you're in I know you're still in it. I know you want more. Oh fuck. I'm glad this target's so big. <laughs> Whoa, I don't like that. I don't know what that is. I don't want it. No, I don't want it. What the fuck? So cool with your purple tail fins, you bitch. Alright, we're done with this. What's next? We should use the old traditional grenade launcher on him. Don't shoot your big laser at me. Okay, good. Uh, excuse me. I don't have good footing here. Uh, okay, wait, 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 but I just, I'm, I'm just started here. Oh, give me that. Run some way. Okay, did I just get a semi-auto assault rifle? This guy's almost done. Yeah, get toasted on. Building. Oh fuck! <laughs> no, my shit! Oh my shit! No! You're a good guy. Get the fuck out of here now. One more shot. You're done. Okay. to go. do it your way. Use it. it was ruined, so that means it was uh, at a hundred percent off of its container ability. And watch, I, I use both these whole container repairs and I bet it's fucking not even repaired all the way. It might be. Oh, it did. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, nothing else to say, uh, die hard man, or dead man. Just thanks, bro. Where's, where's all the crypto bios that I just had? Nowhere to be seen. Cool. Don't be afraid. Oh, 
Oh, here they are up here. Oh, I see somebody put a little sign on them. <laughs> That's funny. Crypto buyouts for me. Really, the crypto buyout should have been the currency in this game. I mean, in a way, they're kind of with the materials, but. I never know when the last boss is coming. There's <laughs> been boss after boss after boss. Maybe Big Whale was the last boss. Delivering there, but it's off limits. No, this road is off limits. This part of the city is off limits. What the fuck is this circle? Is that an invisible generator? What the fuck was that? Tijuana? Is that what TJ stands for? What's even in this fucking city, man? Oh, right. Wait, have I been here before? Oh, well, we can't just run around with our fucking cargo all cattywampus. Big ass hole in the middle? I mean, Jesus. Should have fixed that earlier. Here we are. Thank heavens you made it. Fragile's been in a coma for a while now. But with all these crypto biomes you brought, we should be able to bring her round. And with any luck, it'll only take a few more to get her back on her feet. You did well, Sam. Didn't exactly get the uh, cargo condition excellent there. It's a lot of fucking BT areas, man. <clears throat> Only a oh aw. Almost got capital, not city, up to five stars. 
once I finish the game, I'm probably gonna go around getting everything up to five stars. Unlock all the areas that I haven't been to and all that stuff. Sam. You're back. Doesn't want a hug. It must have been one hell of a journey, especially on your own. But now the whole team is together again. The whole team? Die Hard Men too? No. Too much traveling to and from beaches in such a short span. Chiral matter contaminated her cells, effectively causing jet lag on a molecular level. Because of that, her homeostatic mechanisms were shaken. Don't worry, she's not in any danger, but she needs some rest. So where's the director? He's being looked after in another room. Bridges personnel found him lying outside the isolation ward. Similar to when you came back from Cliff's Beach. Hmm. Even after decontamination, she needed more and more time to recover. Shove it on in there. Sam. their old lady hands. Thanks. Looks like you need me after all. Who'd have thought? here the great deliverer the only one who can reach Emily's beach uh, oh. you're in no condition to do this is great deliverer my title or Sam I wonder if they made it where she in says any title that you have at the time. Beach, I have come to realize something extraordinary if beaches were likened to a multiverse hers would appear to exist on a higher plane than ours I can walk the beaches of others but hers is beyond my reach it's invisible <laughs> inaccessible even to fragile I fear <clears throat> imagine it as a circulatory system if you will each of our beaches is a single capillary but Armelie's beach is the heart that pumps blood to the rest of us Capillaries are subordinate to the greater whole, a whole governed by the heart, which gives direction, which dictates flow, which dictates everything, controls everything. Don't you see? She is in control. You may be able to travel against the flow and reach her but having done so if she does not wish to let you go if she wishes to keep you she can fragile and die hardman broke free from her beat didn't they i don't think it was any different from what happened to you i didn't get out because i wanted to i was forced out repatriated if you will by her forced out why <laughs> This is only a theory, but she wants you, wants you to go to her. That's her final wish, don't you think? Won't that cause the last training then? So if I go to her? Huh? Amelie's the EE, and this is her end game. Just so we're clear, if I want to stop the last stranding and come back in one piece. I need to go to her beach and talk her out of it. That about right? Correct. As cliche as it sounds, you're our only hope. Though quite frankly, 
I doubt even you can change her mind. If you can't make her see reason, you'll have to kill her. And if you kill her... You'll save the world. But you'll be stranded outside of it. Forever. Hmm. Stranded on the beach, huh? Official, then. You ready to deliver the package? Should she really be doing this in air condition? I mean, give her a couple days, you know? I'm sure we can find something to do for a couple days. I'll talk to her. Maybe she'll listen. But with the shape the world's in, it'll only be delaying the inevitable. Still. If it buys us time to try and build something better, a new lease on life, at least for a little bit. Well, I can think of one woman who made the most of a chance like that. Nothing lasts forever, not even the world. But we gotta keep it going as long as we can, right? Patch the holes, change the parts, all that. So we can say we had a good run. Man, this is the most lived. day labor speech I've ever heard in my life. Because <laughs> it was hard enough keeping my own shit together. Back when we met at the cave, the only thing I cared about was making it to the next sunrise. Sure as hell didn't care about America or the future. I was living a lie, hung up on past regrets. I was broken. But somewhere along the way, I started changing started meeting people that made me think that maybe it wasn't all bad people that put their faith in tomorrow and in me that kept the lights on this is what happens to arrive so what I gotta deliver for their sake this is what happens when you sign up for even if it means you never for grubhub back. and doordash <laughs> Fucked if I did, an Fucked uber if I right. <laughs> gotta change your mind be the day blaber you always wanted to be. Take care of Lou. I will. Thanks, Kojima. Couldn't find a working still mother east of Port Knot City. Kids done and off. No more. All right. I'll do my best to nurse a little one back to health. Guess we're leaving BB behind. What is this fucking Stranger Things moment that's happening right here? Very nice, Kojima. Very nice. Reach for her, Sam. Feel her. I know you love her. You love her! Get back in bed. Don't need my real waifu dying. Even though my beach waifu will always be gold. <laughs> Alright. Sam. 
came back for you. Let's figure out what all this is about. You never even had a connection with Lochna during the game, though. No, she turned me into a baby. Baby Sam. Let's make some baby deliveries. I know the way. Fuck, my connection is dropping frames. God damn it. No, don't drown the baby. I want to live. baby hand to the beach and we got to keep our fresh ass Cairo boots we didn't get to keep anything else and we don't have our own wreck where the fuck would she be guess we'll go running Yep, the beach is full of dead shit. And blood. It's like, uh, like the Metalocalypse song. Blood Ocean. Mermaider, 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 Mermaider. Taking it easy, huh? Right next to the dead whale's mouth. Not cool. London bridges falling down. Falling down. Falling down. Wait a sec. I just need to get some more water real quick.
Okay. Because nursery rhymes YouTube. <clears throat> that Amelie dressed us Bridget. Or is it? It's Bridget. Amelie? You're too late. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? Sam. I knew you'd come back. Is this extinction anomaly? No, it's Bridget. I thought Amelie and Bridget were the same entity. Isn't that his mom? Sam, listen to me. on the beach. Fuck. I've been waiting for you. Right here ever since. Aren't you gonna shoot me with my own blood? You were supposed to stop me. Stop all of this. Bridget? Yes. It's me, Sam. Where's Amelie? Where she's always been. Nowhere. My daughter, Samantha America Strand, doesn't exist. Amelie doesn't exist. Not in your world. Is it me too? What's going on? I've had to wear a mask for so long. Amelie and Bridget are both a part of me. We're all part of you. What's that supposed to mean? Quiet, and I'll tell you. Oh, there is no time for questions. Listen. Just listen. Are we are we in movie cutscene time or in, or what? We have to fight another boss. confusing ass storyline do you understand Sam Amelie and Bridget those are just names what I am is an extinction entity so knowing what you know now you have two choices I was getting shot one of them you wouldn't come back if it happened here, you know. You'd be straight on to the afterlife. But no. It's not one of them. Killing you would be a terrible mistake. I know that better than anyone. The last stranding has already begun. A seam has formed from my beach and the beaches of every soul in America. And soon it will be inundated by a vast surge of antimatter starting here. In a flash, this world will be no more. Consumed by an explosion. A big bang.
Sorry guys, I'm figuring out lunch real quick. So, that brings us to your first choice. Do nothing. Stay here with me and bear witness to the very end. Just watch it burn. Together with me until the last flame winks out. Sounds so bad, does it? It's not like the world has long left anyway. Then there's the second choice. In expanding the network, you brought people and their beaches together, integrating them into a greater whole. Like this key. But in doing so, you also bound them to my beach. The very beach where I opened the gates to the other side. You can't stop what's coming. But if you cut me and my beach loose, perhaps you can stop it from spreading. You might just prevent the last stranding. And mankind will live to die another day. And it doesn't have to end here. But it does. The beach is doomed, no matter what. One look ought to tell you that. <sighs> Which is why we must sever our connection. That'll be it. The end of the Death Stranding. You can't stop the inevitable. The 
sixth extinction will happen either today or tomorrow. You can either end it with dignity, quick, clean, and in a flash, or you can struggle in vain, knowing full well what's waiting come the finish. Those are your choices. You kept it all this time. Perhaps you still have a chance to stop this nightmare. You brought the world together. You have the right to decide. Pull the rope or cut the noose. But whatever you do, don't hesitate. I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. But wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. After everything, how could you not? Didn't work. Um. What? I shot her. I still have a bullet. Did I do it wrong? Was I supposed to walk away? What? I'm ready, Sam Strand. What? Make your choice. But wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing that was the bad end. What's <laughs> to go into the water with her? We have to use all six bullets. Alright, fuck this. I'm out. See ya. Bye bye. See ya. See you next time. What am I missing? We already saw this ending. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong here. Maybe I need to go run up to her, shoot her. I'm ready, Sam Strand. 
Make your choice. Well, wait. Stop shooting her. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. After everything, how could you not? My feeling is that I need to boom. All right, that didn't work. No, slow down. Just need to get into the water faster than her, maybe. <laughs> I'm confused. Shoot the whales. That's it, right? Nope. Oh. Dragged back to the beach. Am I supposed to shoot the sun? Fuck. <laughs> What's happening? Don't don't ruin it. Don't spoil it for me. I'm just trying to. I don't know how I'm not figuring this out. Twenty twenty bucks. Okay, twenty bucks. Okay. I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. Well, wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. One second. After everything, how could you not? Okay. Although, I think that wasn't the choice I would have made. I would have ran, right? Didn't she say the options were to stay and watch the end of the world or to fight yeah. against it? It's a dream catcher. Cut off access. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. When you're all grown up, you'll need it to make us whole again. And when the time comes, you'll have to stop me. You are the only one who can. Promise you'll remember. Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. So we have I to remember. stop her from going into the water? You always knew. I did and I didn't. I had so many dreams of the future. I didn't know which ones to trust. Which is why I decided to share them with you and the others. But to connect the dots, to make sense of everything, you need perspective. You need time. Time has no meaning to me. I am not a line. I am a single point. Which is why all I could do was just show you the choices and let you decide. Our nightmares are your dreams. You found the common thread. The strand that links them together. And you did that the only way possible. To live life one day at a time. Thank you, Sam. A 
A gun won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. Okay, but I shot all the bullets out. <laughs> it was the bonds between people that brought the world together. And if that is what matters most to you, then I will stay here on this beach. And I will shut myself in and the rest of you out. Shut yourself in. Come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do is try to spare you the worst. So this was the cut off yourself option. I am the beach. And I must stay here and ensure that the extinction happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. She can't leave the beach. That's what an EE does. If I had just done my job, none of this would have happened. But I, I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So, that's what I did. Sounds like hell. But you and the others came together, connected, and you may be living on borrowed time, but you still have hope. Before each of the big five, life. You know, I'm I'm glad that the um. I'm glad that the. Uh, that they didn't let you fail <laughs> that the that the because if this was like a real event right and you would have been put through <laughs> the, the, the that scenario the fucking world would have ended like three times rebelled they fought back evolved in order to survive she gotta remember hugs not Extinction. not thugs I don't, I don't know And if I have to pay the price for that, to be the sacrifice, then so be it. Even if we aren't together, we will always be connected. Goodbye, Sam. Wait, did Sam have a wife that was pregnant? A gun won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. So Amelie cut us off from the beach. Her beach, not our beach. Oh shit, it's the credits!
Well done, son. Should I go into the water? Like all the other gray people, don't they, don't they go to the water? I don't want to go before the credits finish rolling. Go check out this little hillside. So this whole story was about how she tried to force the end of the world to happen sooner. Because she didn't want to wait. But now she's decided that waiting is okay and cool. we get a chance to find our way back. She cut herself off. Those weren't your dreams. They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours, too. In my dreams, I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. What do you guys think about my camera Again. work? And again and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. It's that controller-based gameplay. Like <laughs> I don't know. And I would always be the one to end it all. To bring about the last I could do a close-up on her face. As I have today. I always thought it would be really cool to be a camera person. I don't think I had the skills, though. Running on the beach. Kojima! My little toesies wet. <laughs> I know running on the beach is like a common thing, but it always sounded like a sandy mess to me. People that run on the beach have like a like a little foot shower or something that they use regularly. First operation. I was only twenty. I opened my eyes. 
place and found myself on the beach. This is Bridget, right? But the moment I came round, I was back in the hospital bed. I was split across two worlds. Alright, this is tough. <laughs> Bridget, my hog in that one. Amelie, my car in this. Somehow, the two of us managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Amelie Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. Look. Amelie. Um. You really don't need to do the Harry Potter thing. Come on. A soul that's a lie. There was no Amelie. Only me and the beach. Oh, I'm a lie. Get it? I thought it was a curse in the beginning. But later, I started thinking. Maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach. Because understanding the beach had to I be am Tom to Riddle. <laughs> Right now, I am Lord Voldemort. <laughs> oh, fucking, come on! All right, I don't want to go this way anymore. I'm going back this way. Also, I'm pretty sure it warped me backwards because I was way down there, and now I'm right next to this thing again. This was a good game. Very enjoyable. Oh, you got you something special, huh? Maybe I should have went up in the grassy area. Nah, that's cool. Fuck it. Is this game Fox Engine, or did they have to write it from scratch over again? Because I'm pretty sure Kojima Studios made the Fox Engine. But then, you know, that was when they were working for Kojima. So, or, uh, that was when they were working for <sighs> Konami. I'm pretty sure Konami got to keep the Fox engine in the divorce, so maybe they had to remake it from scratch, kind of. Look at how look at how good the engine is, though. It's, all, it's always so good. They really should have put a fucking snowboard in the game. Please. of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history. A history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. I like the clouds. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. 
Getting a little sloppy so, here. I started researching bridge babies, children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I founded Bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. But the longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My ha had cancer. A beach's punishment, maybe for not playing along like a good little E.E. -E. And then, just like that, my ha was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. I remember that. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve, like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be, a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. <laughs> Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow, life always managed to survive just enough enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos like jurassic yeah. park i'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation it forces life to fight to survive to endure to exist that's why the big five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it from the ashes of the dead rise the living stronger and wiser inheritors of no, the legacy not all of the of existence living. itself they defy the universe and refuse to surrender they say we're just getting started extinction is an opportunity this is big oil propaganda come on kojima <laughs> he's fucking around <laughs> It didn't move me back towards that island this time. Alright, let's go somewhere green this time. Oh, fuck. Oh. Well. Wait, did it reset me? Oh, it reset me. Okay, well. Let's go somewhere green this time. I got too far. Put any flowers in this bitch. I'm gonna sit in the flowers. There we go. Hope Amelie doesn't have a hard time traversing this terrain. Uh, you know what? Let's not ruin the cutscene. Oh, I'll put us back. <laughs> All right. I pulled 
the trigger twice that day. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. There you are. Oh, this is the cutscene we saw where we were a little baby. I don't think there's a way to position this camera any better. Little blue guy. between life and death. I just wanted to save you. I am an extinction entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment... You became part of that fate. You became oh, I a see. patriot. And dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Not long after, the Death Stranding occurred. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction it was my duty to serve as a sacrifice to wait and watch it unfold from this beach that or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death given these my only options I chose to end it quickly but to trigger the last stranding I needed you a part of me here too I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. An EE doesn't have that option for itself. But in my nightmares, I saw another future. One that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation. Hmm. So really, I mean, really, the the thing, the whole game is about the end of the human race, I suppose. Oh, fuck, now we got real credits. What is this noise I'm hearing? Is this music? Take me back to the beach. Yeah. Oh, dogs. Lily. <clears throat> so humanity is supposed to go extinct. The Death Stranding is their last, their last, uh, thing, their last 
gasp of, of breath before the end. And the extinction event is... or the extinction entity is something that happens to all races where a special animal causes extinction, I guess, or group of animals. I guess I'm still a little confused about the <laughs> the real world implications. I mean, did the world get destroyed with nukes or something? <laughs> I'll bridge it with Chris. Uh, thanks, man. You got chicken, right? Yep. lunch here. So the time fall and the VTs are what caused the extinction of humanity? I was under the impression that the time fall and the BTs and all that stuff started happening after almost everybody was dead already. Uh, and I assumed that everybody was almost dead already due to nuclear apocalypse. Okay. I mean, we know that at least some nukes were involved. But perhaps that was just, you know, the start, I guess. Uh, well, so, like, Fragile delivers the nuke that blew up uh, Mountain Mount City. Or not Mountain Mount City. What, whatever, the other not city, and we and we had a nuke, right? At one point, that we threw into the tar pits. I guess that makes as much sense as anything that the BTs cause all the stuff. It's just, you know, what explains like how the terrain is so much different. All the roads are gone and all that shit, you know. I guess time fall. Keep coming, cause bussin' makes me feel good. Bussin' makes me feel good. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that was the end of the cutscenes. I guess. Uh... Now what? There we go. to shoot myself, get back to the world. I used all the bullets though. 
I did use all the bullets, though. Alright. Let's get back. Whoops. <laughs> I've gotten that <clears throat> if I hadn't used all the bullets. <laughs> Where is she? Woohoo! Hey, I got an S rank. I don't know for what, though. Didn't I not do anything? Because I hugged her? <laughs> I get the S rank for hugging her. There's always more you can. You don't have to keep saying it. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> I thought I was going to five star in the capital of Nod City. For too long have we lived as strangers to one another, divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now with the completion of the Cairo network, we may at last move forward as a people united. Today we come together to celebrate the birth of a new nation. A new nation for a new world. The United Cities of America. I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby swear to support and defend you, the people. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who we are. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another. Where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. Now, the old ways die hard. But I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our future. The Death Stranding is a part of that past an enduring shadow, a constant reminder of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament, not to the greatness of any one individual, but to our capacity to come together, to the bonds between us, to our collective greatness. All things must come to an end, ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, embrace hope and reject despair, we will endure. President Bridget Strand and her daughter, Samantha America Strand, sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we the people might be whole again. That they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness. But we find comfort in the knowledge that their memories will live on in the Cairo network and in our hearts. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story. One whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. America still needs that hero. That person without whom we would not be here. Now, the name is unimportant. But you know who I mean. And for that unsung hero... Lol. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, Going somewhere, Sam? Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh. This doesn't bother you anymore? <laughs> well, that's great. Now, wouldn't you like to know how we brought you back from the beach? We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy, which is when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Yes. What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Hmm. Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. Unfortunately, 
It didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her beach loose. It was just gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely nothing to show for it. A month on the outside. How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. But don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. In the end, this is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So, we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lochna via their connection, and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDE. The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position so we could rescue you. But it's not so easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And that's where the umbilical cord came in. We wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The President must have known all of this would happen. Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. Hmm. Amelie, she said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of putting it. No idea how long I've been waiting to give you a hug. Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. Bibi's mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common law wife. Lisa Bridges? Uh, uh, now, Cliff was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. Former U.S. Special Forces. Quite good at it by all accounts later appointed as an aide to the president, who used him for most of her wet work. The records go on to state that he vanished after Cliff's death. A warrant was put out, but he was later found dead. So it isn't Die Hard Man. Turns out some people die harder than others, though. Wait, what? Oh, okay. It is Die Hard Man. Dear John donned a mask and reappeared with a new identity. But you can't fool the chiral network. I thought it was him. He restored the old records. And Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges. Take a look if you're so inclined. But don't say I didn't warn you. The president's got some dirty, dirty laundry. I don't trust him. But I'll work with him if that's what it takes. We'll talk later. Sam. I don't expect you to forgive me. But would you hear me out? I killed Captain Clifford Unger. I would tell you I did it for America. For love of country. But I didn't. I did it for her. Because I loved her with all my heart. She was everything to me. Everything. Oh shit, is this guy our dad? No, I'm not trying to make excuses. I just want you to know that not a day's gone by when I haven't thought about it. Time didn't help. 
or the mask. Please. Well, genetics can be, you know. You could end up having a white baby with a black guy. He. The captain saved my life. What you could. I mean, you know it's a genetic why. anomaly, they but it's possible. They just get all the genes from the mom. <clears throat> wouldn't let me die. He brought my sorry ass back home every time. And I loved him. As much as I loved her. We've all done the genetic punnet squared, is it? <clears throat> and when he stared me down, that ghost. But clearly, that's not the the path they've taken. Here. I knew he was here to kill me, to make it right. And why shouldn't he? Come on, bro. You can't be breaking down like this. You're the president. <clears throat> Why didn't he? He couldn't save his, his kid. His baby. And that's what brought him back. I guess when he... He saw I was trying to do my part... America. America. He remembered who he was. And he forgave me. God. Clearly you haven't forgiven yourself, brother. But I don't deserve it, god damn it. <laughs> there is no atoning for what I've done. It's ugly crying now. God. God. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Give him a little pat on the back. It's all right, buddy. There you go. is the next best thing maybe he brought me back from the beach for a reason one last time she got a lot of baggage man who's this actor Pretty he good. wanted me to do this I like his tones to keep on being die Hardman no he didn't. Nobody wants a president who acts like they're immortal. And if you're not scared of death, how can you value life? Yeah, tell him, Sam. Life is pretty fucking fragile right now. And yeah, the old ways die hard. But that's what's gonna have to happen if we're gonna come together and build a better America. Oh man, now you care about America? <clears throat> that's her words, not mine. Yeah, I like his character. I don't really get the whole riff between him and Dead Man. Maybe they explain that a little bit more in the next game or something. <clears throat> Maybe Dead Man just has a thing against uh, ex-military killers or something. Hey, Sam. Been waiting for you. Lou? Uh, Dead. Poor thing was never truly alive. Not no, Lou. Lou. The decommissioning order finally came through. Can't risk necrosis. The body can't stay here. Lou. I thought you might want to take care of it. No. 
You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. And there are laws about that kind of thing. Now that we're a nation. Fuck these laws. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But if the alternative is defying the president, I can't do that either. <clears throat> Not me. All right. I'll go to the incinerator. Shit. Before you leave, I'd like to check something quickly. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. I trust you'll remember what I said. Right, absolutely. Hugger now. Thanks for everything. Guess so. Took my BB, man. Ah, oh, fragile's okay. Don't think you'll be needing an umbrella. I decided to follow my father's dream after all. Don't worry, I won't get mixed up with any terrorists this time. UCA's got my back. We're the first private right. delivery company to get the official approval. Sounds like you're moving up in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. Wait, there's something I have to tell you. I didn't shoot pigs. Could oh, fuck, pigs are still alive. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I had a feeling that was the case. Death or eternal solitude on the beach. Fair enough. You never did like breaking things. That's right. I find and fix what's broken. And reconnect. I'm fragile, but not, not that, that fragile. fragile. <laughs> you want to come work for me? Could use a man like you. The world's still broken. The same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Where are you gonna go, oh, Sam? You put America back together, didn't you? I'm gonna drop in the frame rate. This right place there. for me. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. I still do. Don't act like you're the same person. You've learned how to touch, to feel. You've connected with people, with us. Everything I touch, I lose. Sam! Hmm. 
Little road snack. Nope. Come on, Lou. One last delivery. One last delivery. My controller turned off from the amount of time that we spent AFKing. <laughs> Me right now. Wait. <laughs> Lou! No, Lou's dead. Look at the little bottom left. Jesus, he's fucked. my game lagging? What the fuck? Really weird. Okay, let me... Before my dog freaks the fuck out. Uh, be right back. Lither! Alright, let's finish this bad boy off. Why is my game lagging all of a sudden? What the fuck? Am I not clicked into the game? Hold on. No, I am. Oh, maybe I wasn't. It seems like it's working better now. How am I supposed to know where to go here? <laughs> Fucking. Oh fuck, am I going to the. <sighs> guess I'll just. Yeah, I guess it's the, the same incinerator I brought Bridget to. Can I take a car? No. Not even one of these shit ass mule trucks? Right up there. Now that Amelie's cut off her beach, though, is there gonna be BTs still? Is there an easy way to get up there? <laughs> Might just gonna have to walk all the way. 
No! That fat stack of Cairo crystals just sitting there. How the fuck am I supposed to navigate my way correctly? <laughs> well, I mean, I just don't know <laughs> exactly where it's at. I, I assume that's it up there. At the if I can not get lost. I mean, I've done. I've fucking gotten lost. Fucking trying to climb to shit before. Well, uh, we should be okay. We'll, we'll probably get there fine. Cross this. I just want to remind everyone that the credits rolled like an hour ago. Maybe an hour and a half at this point. It's lagging again. Oh, look at the waterfall. It was kind of nice of them to uh, basically give me a walking path there. Am I hearing ghost baby noises? It's kind of fucked up. Yeah, apparently you gotta walk for this section. At least they gave me fresh ass chiral boots, huh? Who the fuck is Igor? Why'd he build such stupid ladders? Wait, is this. Is this one of the uh, bridges, guys? That's what the green star means, right? Made by a, a Bridges employee or whatever. It's like NPC stuff. Well, I thought I knew the way to go, but I guess I'm technically going this way. Is that a piece of a rope? Oh, fuck yeah. They gave me everything. Everything I might need. <laughs> Am I doing highly illegal shit? I thought I was just disposing of the uh, the BB corpse. Unless I'm gonna free the BB at the end, then I'd be doing highly illegal shit. Wow, nice throw, Sam. Really. Really threw that thing where it was supposed to go. Although I don't, if I was gonna break him open, why would I fucking take him to the incinerator to crack him open? Seems like I'd be going to the incinerator for disposal.
Yeah, we'll figure it out. We're here, aren't we? Wish I had some more water, but I can wait until after the stream to get it. All right. I guess we're here. You still with me, Lil? Why is this last part of the game? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. Programmed. Thanks for everything. That child's special. One of a kind. A BB cat. Either that or a sacrifice. A foundation. A bridge. You're an astronaut. Mankind can go anywhere, even out of space. Hmm, can we now? We'll be out of there in no time. And the second all this is over, I'm going to take you wherever you want to go. So basically just dead bodies exploding was the extinction happening. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were the husband. This isn't what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save BB. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. Hmm. This is a woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me. I have a duty to protect our country. Lies are an unfortunate necessity. I wonder if the mask, um, like, came with being president after our president let all the people die. <laughs> Maybe that's the deal. The president gave me the highest level access privileges. I've used them to manipulate the security system. We have five minutes before it resets, sir. Five minutes to talk off the record. Why am I seeing this stuff? Oh, because I connected Take to the baby. BB and get out of this place. There's nothing I can do for your wife. I'm sorry. Why'd they put so much story in after the credits? You were my commanding officer, but I swore an oath to the president to protect her and the country at all costs. Now, if she orders me to do something, I have to do it. I have to. Just but standard. I served under you first. Kojima. And your family doesn't deserve Trolling. this. Any of this. Why are you helping me? If they catch you. Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Back then, I thought I was invincible. I thought I was some kind of action hero. But I'm not the hero. You are, sir. 
You're the reason I'm still alive. And it's past time I paid that debt. They're moving your son to a new facility tomorrow. You'll never see him again. He'll serve as the foundation of a new communications network. A sacrifice for a nation that no longer exists. I wrote down everything you need to know. It was the only way to keep it off the system. Burn it when you're done. The rest is up to you, sir. <coughs> I believe this belongs to you, sir. Now, I can't terminate your wife's life support from inside her room. The system won't allow it. So, this is the only other option. I mean, when you think about it, Die Hard Man was kind of a bro this whole time. An alarm is set to go off if she flatlines. I've rigged the system to spoof her vitals. But you won't have long. Five minutes, Tops. Surprised he didn't face any repercussions for all the dereliction of duty. Don't hesitate, sir. This is the only chance you'll get. What if I don't want to shoot my wife? Yeah, muffle the gunshot. Dude could have brought you a silencer, I mean. You're gonna want to cover the point where the bullet actually explodes, probably. And that where most of the, and that where most of the sound happens, or does it all go out the barrel? I guess it makes sense if it all goes out the barrel. I'm sorry, Lisa. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. I promise you. I promise you. I had him when he said. Anima Lisa? Like, like Mona Lisa, but with the Mona backwards. Really have to do it twice? I mean, I guess that makes sense, you know. Why not? What? <laughs> oh, I see. Because you rigged it up. Time to go. I mean, yeah, it, may, it makes sense, you know. If you want to make sure somebody's dead. Maybe. 
one shot, then it's definitely survivable. BB, can you hear me? Two is much, much less survivable. <laughs> We've seen this cutscene before. Come on, let's crack this egg. We're not gonna crack it. Guess we got to. Right? Are we gonna fake? Are we gonna fake incinerate it? And take the BB out? Lou! Your brother's soul is mine! <laughs> just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UC8 wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. See, I should have taken the cufflinks off back at the when you use the base if I wanted to. You'll be reconnected to the network automatically. Oh, I see. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. That would be in direct contravention of an executive order. So he, he's gonna incinerate the cufflink to you. Then. Look at that perfect routing. Almost exactly the same as the first time. Not that I remembered <laughs> the first time round. I knew it. Smash it. Well, a purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pot. Smash it lightly. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Repatriating? Oh, I didn't mean to hit the thingamajig there. Am I like inside of the BB pod? Sam gonna be inside the BB's throat? Oh. I, wa I wanted to see Sam give a little thumbs up from inside the BB. <laughs> I'm 
Maybe show a little ass crack. <laughs> it's crazy how much more comfortable I've become about uh, nudity and stuff. From when I was younger. No, I mean, you know. There was a time when the, uh, the showering stuff would have. Freeze! Hey, put it down! Drop it! Put it down! Would have gone. Back, um... Back off! Would have perturbed me, but it was a long time ago. Yeah, maybe easy. Sometime. <laughs> Didn't make it out. Security will take it from here. Damn, dude. Those bridges guys were looking fucking decked out. Where's my bridges armor like that? I go roughshod all over a mule camp. We've seen a lot of this from inside of BB's perspective. Some of it we have not. Like Die Hard Man saving the captain there. I bet a shoulder full of sh shotgun. Uh, a buckshot doesn't feel so good. I'm sorry, please. I screwed it up. I've ruined it. Oh fuck. There's the president. BB. 
Die Hard Man tried real hard. the BB theme. I, I knew I had heard those words before. And protect you from that I thought Die Hard. I thought Die Hard Man was the one that shot him. Maybe he gets the final shot in. I don't know. Uh, I found out I was gonna be a father. I was so scared. Scared of what it would mean. I had to be there for you. Same mistake. Be yourself. Be free. Oh my god. Oh shit. The baby was out. Captain. I need you to hand it over. Shoot him, John. Let it go. Please. Shoot him. I gave you an order. Shoot him. Bang. You told me your name was Sam Porter. But you're Sam Bridges. Shit, Sam was the baby the whole time. The fuck? My bridge to the future. Without you, I was just like any other cliff. So who the fuck is the baby that has all his memories? No way for or it was all Sam's memories the whole time. I'm so fucked. I 
don't know if I'd say meaningless, baby. He's still my little buddy. off with the advertisement. You're on the average. You're the future. And mine. You want to stand? Stand up. Can't hold myself. It's a paradox. <laughs> Man, I spent like half this game shooting my dad in the face. Flopped on the baby. That baby too. You're flopped on the ground. No, 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 no. So Bridget wasn't our mom. She killed our dad. God damn! Everything's trying to fucking distract distract me right now. X foam adding me as friend. <laughs> My spam calling me from California. I just want to finish this game. <laughs> just kidding. I will add X foam as a friend here. It wasn't all cutscene. I mean, we fought that whale thing. And we ran. Ran from some stuff. So this explains how Amelie saved us from the beach. There you are. Even though Bridget shot us. My little baby hole. Just like the doll baby. Oh, that makes sense. The baby inside of me was me the whole time. It was all Sam's ass. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's Cliff going to the afterlife. Fucked up series of events for sure. Wish I had some more water. Very thirsty. Just 
see ya. Then we were spaceman. Okay. To see Sam's belly now. Welcome back. You I don't recall seeing it before. Easy are over now that his connection to the other side has been severed. It was me who cut the cord. So yes. A deathless repatriate in the world of the living. Should we decommission? Nope. A matter of speaking. Taken out of the pod. I'll raise him as my own. And there it is. God, the lag! What's happening? Why was everything else in this game so well done and now it's fucking fucked? At least it's not fucked all the time. Gotta cut her, cut the cord. Wake up. Come on, Lou, wake up. Cut the cord, brother! Use your knife fingers! <laughs> Shouldn't have, probably shouldn't have burned the. Uh, Come on, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, wake up. Probably shouldn't have burned his his knife uh, handcuff thing that was used to sever umbilical cords. I think it's over, Sam. You were the baby all along. Still think you should cut the umbilical cord there. Oh, woke up. Now we got a little buddy. Ugh. Yeah, bitch. Oh shit, he's got one of those fucking presidential medal things. That's kind of weird. Oh, maybe Amelie sent that back from... She res him for us. It's possible. Thanks, Amelie. Yeah. Tiny little baby head. 
Now swallow him, Sam. Well, she'd live in your belly. <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck is. Yeah, probably not with all the time fall and everything. Boy, I hope the next game is not a fucking escort mission the whole time with the little kid. That'd be fucked up. I'm sure Kojima will find a way to make it not terrible, even though he's notorious for his terrible underwater escort mission. All right, credits part three. Let me guess, we're not done yet. Yeah, I have a feeling I skipped a lot of the side stuff uh, towards the end there. Probably do, probably do some more, you know, hundred percent s stuff, uh, not on stream. But uh, this was a good game. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Well done, Hideo Kojima and Yoji Shinkawa. Very cool. Maybe one of these days I'll finally get around to get around to playing MGS3. Maybe one of these days. <laughs> I did get about halfway through it one time. That was about as close as I got. That's not gorilla like uh, Red Faction gorilla, is it? They contract something with gorilla. Got Insomniac in here too. CD Projekt. I don't know what the requirements are for putting people in credits. It's like if you use one of their pieces of software, you have to credit the team or whatever. So most of the environment was Iceland. That's kind of cool. I've never been. I know somebody that was. I don't understand why they listed the French coordinators. Was the French version of this game really that much better than all the other languages? That they put them in the 
main credits, or is it just the fact that... Did they have some French in the game that I'm not recalling off the top of my head? Not that I could think of. <laughs> they coordinated fragilely. <laughs> make sure that make sure they get that pronunciation correct. Or is she just a French actress? That's kind of cool if she's a French actress. Wow, they only had like six testers for QA. I was very impressed with the uh, the the whole online interaction system in this game. Very well done. I bet it's a, like a relatively simple system that sits behind all of it too. Kind of like, uh, kind of like the Dark Souls uh, multiplayer, except you know, without the annoying invasion system and having to actually play with other players. What am I looking at here, Signal? Just weird town names? Oh my god! Oh, that's a lot of credits! <laughs> Fuck. I thought they were done. Uh, what the? Oh, when the music credits came up, because usually in movies the last thing that they show is the music credits. But fuck. Oh, here's the songs. Oh, shit. I thought they showed some earlier, but I guess those were extra songs or something? Maybe this is original music? Uh, no. Man, it's like a whole album from Low Roar on here. Now it should be getting pretty close, because we just covered the, the soundtrack, and now the special thanks. Yeah. It was all Morisawa, brothers! Go, go and find the Morisawa font type. <laughs> oh, Valve gets printed.
It's all fiction, guys, just in case. Just in case anybody was confused. This didn't actually happen. Sometimes they make the last credit stay in the middle of the screen and then fade out. Look at look at Kojima following the trends. Oh, there's even more. <laughs> this looks like real film. Oh no, it's in game. What about my wife? Did my wife die? Oh God, Louise! Weird, weird baby cuddles. <laughs> it's pretty cute, though. So it was a woman the whole time. That doesn't surprise me that much. I mean, if it was a if it was a little baby boy, you know, Kojima would have showed it's a little dingling. Take my strong hand. <laughs> See, <you> run. <laughs> oh, here's the other other voice actors. You know. Oh, the after credit scene. I wonder how the I wonder how Louise is gonna play into the next uh, the next Death Stranding. They've already announced Death Stranding too. And they showed, uh, they did show a BB, but it was a, not a baby BB, but like, it looked like the, it looked like the skull from the, the little astronaut toy. It looked like that on the BB. I only took 18 tumbles the whole game. That's... That's pretty good, right? 18 for how many hours of gameplay? 86 hours of gameplay? Didn't quite go a thousand kilometers. I don't recall resting for 30 hours. Maybe I accidentally left the game idle for 30 hours. Maybe it was actually 56 hours of gameplay. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> Types of premium, oh, only premium delivery can be completed with the legendary hire. That explains it. That explains why I don't have more of those. Typed premium delivery completed with an evaluation. Legend or higher. Oh, Legend of Legends. Okay. And then Legend of Legend of Legends. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, okay. It has to be on max difficulty. I don't even know what difficulty I played on. That's not shown here. I would have thought they would show that. I guess I played on normal. <laughs> I don't. I don't recall being asked for a difficulty setting, but maybe I was at the very beginning. Forty-four tons. That's a lot of weight. Oh, my controller went to sleep again. Okay. There we go. Hey, I had level five connection level. Oh, look at that. More of my likes came from players than from the NPCs. How about that? Tight, 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 tight. I wanted to get more max level connections, but that's okay. Ooh, a bunch of music unlocked. <laughs> a minus rating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> like, 
Come on, bro. <laughs> Two weeks earlier. Does this mean I get to go back to not having done anything? Not having done the ending? Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Well, look who's awake. Morning, Sam. You'll be happy to hear your vitals have stabilized and that you're well on your way to recovery. Ha! Huh. Not that it's your fault, but what I wouldn't give to trade places. We're all stuck in the president's office, working like dogs to get everything ready in time for the inauguration. But at least oh, one see. of us is still it's free before the inauguration. inauguration. You should yeah. head out. Make the most of it. Could even do some orders if you wanted. Might do you good to get back in the game. You may recall it was raining buckets back when you left for Amelie's Beach. We took a real beating at the time, but we've done our best to service the structures and vehicles in the area. So you know, any cargo that was stored in your private locker at a damaged facility should have been transferred to your private locker here at this distro center. What damaged facility? Anyway, busy or not, we'll still be on the end of the line if you need us. And if you want some alone time, we should be able to manage for now. Just make sure you're back in time for the big day, all right? See you then. Hey, Sam, you sure you don't have any unfinished business? I'm sure I have quite a lot of unfinished business. Sam. This is a nice way to do a continuation. Back and learn to break, but I've got a high priority request. Head to the distro center west of Capital Knot. You can review the details there. Pass the time. So this is an interesting way to to uh, let the game continue. All right, I guess we're done. Unless unless somebody tells me otherwise, I think we're done. You have moments, moments to tell me. Need to get the rest of these journals. Hmm. Jesus has a lot of low roar songs. A couple of Woodkid songs. Okay, well, thanks everybody for watching and, uh,. Oh, you make the blood stains and then you can hit them with regular ammo. Huh. That's interesting. Would have been nice to know that before uh, fighting that big fucking dude and the whale. Could have been switching ammo back and forth. Yep, you're a little too late. We just finished the game after four and a half hours or whatever. <clears throat> okay well thank you everyone for uh watching these youtube recordings and i hope you all had as, at least as much fun as i have and got to experience death stranding i will uh continue to make videos uh, although probably not any more death stranding videos so uh we'll see you for you know, whatever comes next, the next project. <laughs>